just here. What you want to do is you want to take a look at your competitors as well. So let's just take a look at um, our competitors. All right, so let's just click and see what happens. All right, this particular site is spending uh, at least four dollars to almost forty dollars a day advertising for the keyword weight training program, which is which is good because it means you know the this business can afford to spend this amount of money uh, for this keyword. So if if they're not making money here in this market niche, they won't be spending this type of money. So this is a good thing. All right, so just just play around and look, take a look at the other. Uh, ads as well. Okay, so bigfitness.com. Let's see how much. Oh, wow, they're spending two hundred to eight hundred dollars. So that's a lot of money. Uh, it's not a good sign. All right, so just click around and take a look at some more. This is the muscle head. All right, they're spending quite a bit of money as well. So just just take a look. All right, and. Uh, you if you you know uh, you you want to take a look at their websites as well okay so uh, just take a look at what they're offering as well all right this is Sean LeBron fitness.com all right and you want to do a bit of competitive research as well so take a look at your you know your competitors uh, in your particular niche so for example in the weight training program weight training niche this uh, if I want to go into this niche this is a this is my potential competitor and you just want to take a look at what he's offering to the market okay so you know just scroll down and take a look uh, this is your typical sales letter okay All right All right uh-huh uh, so just take a look, you know, uh, see h how they craft their offers, uh, what type of products they're offering. So he's offering a, an ebook, I guess. Okay, so let's just go around and find out more. And okay, I'm just scrolling down, but you you probably want to, you know, uh, you know, do do spend a bit more time if you are doing competitive research. I'm just showing you as an example in this video all right so just take a look at your competitors and what they offer what type of products or services they offer and uh, how much they are charging for it how much is he selling this for uh, 39 dollars okay the bonuses that they give away all right and uh, okay so this is a this is an ebook, I guess, that he's selling for thirty-nine dollars. All right, and uh, oh, okay, this is one one competitor. So, whoa, what's this? Okay, so we can ignore this. Yeah. All right. So take a look at the other competitors as well. So let's say Big Fitness. Let's see what their site looks like. This this really isn't your direct competitor because they they're more into exercise equipment, weight training equipment. All right, so it's a different uh, sub niche altogether. So you probably won't, you don't need to look at this. Let's see this one. All right, so this one looks more like uh, up uh, up our alley. So. All right, this is just take a look. Okay, and uh, as your sales letter again, testimonials. All right, so they're offering a f uh, ebook, I guess. Meal plans, workout plans, uh, all these other stuff. And uh, okay, so let's scroll down, and they're offering it for. Uh, Hundred ninety seven dollars. Okay, all right. All right. So you just want to take a look and see 
what what the market is like? What are your competitors selling? What are they selling ebooks? Are they selling videos? Are they how much are they pricing it? How 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 well is their how well do they craft their uh, sales letter and their offer? Okay, so you want to take a look at what you're you know you're getting into and all that. So this one looks pretty good. Let's just take a look. Alright, this this side looks pretty good. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this one looks this this side and this sales letter looks pretty good. Alright, so I reckon this side's doing pretty pretty well. Okay, lots of testimonials. So uh, they're selling an ebook as well, and all these bonuses, and uh, it's all going for DVD. Not bad. Okay. All right. Uh, lots of bonuses, and uh, it's going for. Seventy-seven dollars. So as you can see, um, this side is, is a pretty good offer. You know, it's offering ebook and DVDs and videos and all these other pretty fancy stuff, and it's going for seventy-seven dollars. So I think you know, um, if you want to, if you want to get into the weight training program niche, you probably have to do something like this. You know, you gotta ask yourself this question: Can you offer something different or or better than what this guy is offering the, the market? Okay, because if you if you if you want to go head to head with him you gotta you know you gotta you gotta do a good job okay so um you know competitive research like this is important so you need to know what's out there who are your competitors and all that and find out if uh you know you can you can you know create a better offer than what what the other guys are doing okay so uh this goes a long way in understanding your market niche better okay how much is uh, how much are people you know how much are businesses spending online uh, in your particular market niche how many businesses are, are, are actually advertising and you want to take a look at you know what this business is offering to your to your niche okay so you need to find out all of this and find out you know um, whether it's profitable and you're gonna find out if you if you want to go into this niche you know uh, how you can actually compete with your competitors as well okay so uh, just play around with this and uh, I'll see you in the next video alright